Hey guys, Tim again, Tim's Computer Repair. I've got another one here to take a look at for you. This one was brought into my shop once again, just as you see it. And boy, oh boy, let me tell you the number of things that I identify with this that are just wrong. I, I, I thought I've seen it all. And not just on this computer, by the way. This customer has brought in another desktop uh, that is equally baffling, if not worse. But I just want to show you guys uh, what I get in my shop and and this one is is pretty pretty crazy obviously with this video card uh, this is how it was brought in there's the USB 3 cable just sitting there so he's he's tried to build this himself he basically just threw it together doesn't care about how it looks obviously he just wants a working computer for various reasons uh, you know just just looking at it right now you think oh, I just need some cable management uh, the, this is a very high-end card at the time of this video this is most likely I haven't identified it yet there's no labeling on the top or the bottom and I haven't pulled any parts it's just as you see it now and so I haven't identified this but this is obviously with the three power ports here this is like a 3080 3090 3080ti something like that it's an Asus but uh, I mean what jumped out at me right away is look how this card has been wedged in here right and look here uh, he's even admitted to me that he's physically bent this case back you can see it's bent to wedge this expensive video card into place this this poor card uh, he says the motherboard's new. He says that the processor's new. The latest gen at the time of this video, Intel. Uh, another thing I'm noticing here is look how the this heat sink is just floating around and moving around on this board. Wow. It's not even tightened down. He's he is he has powered this on several times and said it's not posting. Not posting, everybody, not posting, right? He said he's frustrated with it. Obviously, four sticks of RAM in here. Another thing that's quite amazing to me is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mechanical drives. I don't know if he has these in some kind of a raid. I don't even know if this board even supports eight drives. He claims that there's a couple of M.2s in here also. Oh my goodness. Uh, the power supply is a super flower. Now, it's a thousand watt. Uh, I thought this might have been a cheap power supply, but I did a little research and come to find out, I mean, this is a pretty pretty darn good power supply this is a this is a titanium uh, grade power supply so uh, 83 amps on a 12 volt rail uh, it's an Asus uh, Strix motherboard but I, I just wanted to investigate these drives a little bit just to kind of have a look and see what kind of drives they are oh my goodness 10 terabyte it's a 10 terabyte. This is actually a 10 terabyte uh, WD Red with the white label. Uh, they're about 
$350 a piece. <laughs> uh, here's another one. If it'll come out, let's see if, it'll, see if I can pull that out. Yep, oh, yeah, no, no. oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Various underings, you know, different drives. I don't know if he has some kind of a RAID setup. I'm not, I don't really know what in the heck this guy was doing with this computer or trying to do or what have you. Um, obviously, I think he had another board in here or something and decided to try to upgrade it. He just wanted to get a computer up and running so quick. Didn't care how he had to do it. But let's, uh, so what, what, what I'm going to do with this is, well, I'm going to pull all these parts. And I'm going to test them outside of this case. And I can, I can tell you right now, I'm not putting nothing back into this case. No, not at all. So a few other things to note on this computer is, uh, you know, his, his CPU fan is not even mounted that well or secured his top fans are actually blowing air into the case uh, doesn't have any front fans to help cool these mechanical drives <sighs> oh the motherboard thumb screws are used to hold this in place I see one there and I see one down here, thumb screws now, and that's it. I see two of those, and I see no other screws holding this motherboard into place. Uh, I am not about to attempt to power this on. Here's another thing I noticed. So I had it laying down, and I took a peek with a flashlight down behind this video card. And I could see that it's not even sitting in the slot. He's wedged this in and secured it. And it's not even sitting fully into the slot. If I turn this around, it's so heavy because of those drives. It's unbelievable. Here's what we're looking at in the back. Lovely, lovely. I got a nice rat's nest of cables and what have you here. Uh, some are plugged in, some aren't. <clears throat> like I say, I don't, I don't really know what he was using this computer for or what he was doing with all those drives or whatever. This is computer number one, right? Uh, you know, I've, I've, I've gotten quite a few in, you know, that have, that have, uh, you know, that it surprised me. Uh, this one, it ranks up there. But let me show you computer number two. Okay. So computer number one was pretty shocking. I'm not sure if this one takes the cake. This is how the computer was brought into my shop. Once again, on this computer... And it has a label on it. This is a th this is a 3080 Ti. You got your three power plugs here. Oh, yeah. This this was just sitting out like this. So that's how it was brought in with this just floating around like that. Uh, <laughs> where do I begin? This is the AMD build here, if you want to call it a build. Um. <sighs> Where do I start? <laughs> this, uh, well, I'll start here. Watch this. Oh my God. Look at this. Turn it here. Look at this. Look at that. Oh my goodness. He says it won't post. <laughs> this video card. Actually, this is this is uh, this is an old Antec case. All right, one of the old oldies from back in the day. Still has a CD drive in it. He has managed to get this card in this case 
And this card extends all the way out to like here. Right? Just unbelievable. One stick of RAM. Uh, I see thermal paste smeared all right here. Uh, once again, a thumb screw holding it in up top. Pretty much nothing else. Shocking, he's using a 650 watt power supply to try to power a 3080 Ti and he has mixed and matched cables, power supply cables, which is a big no-no. You could tell because these are sleeved, these are flat, uh, you know, two different, oh my goodness. Um, <sighs> drive just floating around here. This is another one where I'm not even going to attempt to power this on. I'm going to pull the parts from this case and test them externally. Just find, to make sure everything is in, uh, all the parts are in good shape or what have you. <sighs> oh my gosh. Um, at least his fans are facing in the right direction. <laughs> Uh, let me turn this around. Oh my gosh, take this panel off back here. Let's see if I can get it off. Yeah, there we go. The fella is just in a huge, massive hurry to get his computer built. He just, he just wants it done, blah, blah, blah. And that's why he just rushed through it. Oh my gosh. Ooh, look at there. It's like he's got a busted USB port right there. Lovely. Lovely, 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 huh? Oh, that poor, beautiful card. It's just all ganked. Look at this. So this, you can tell this is the old school Antec, right? Yes. But here's something else that I notice. Oh my God, you, you got to be joking. Look at this. So this was the old drive cage. Right? That's in the Antec. Basically, he has physically bent this in this way so he can squeeze that video card in this computer. I mean, why? So think about the money that this guy has been spending. At the time of this video, this is probably, I don't know, $2,500 worth of video cards. And then, you know, then, then motherboards and processors. He wouldn't plump money down for a new case. This computer doesn't post either. Uh, go figure. I've 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 been I've been doing this computer repair uh, for almost 15 years, and I will say these two computers really take the cake as far as uh, the what the heck. <laughs> is concerned because I, uh, you know, I when I first saw these two computers, the first thing in my head was that I thought was run, run away. These could be damaged, and this is a lot of money, man. And I've already had him sign my consent form, and I pointed out to him that any damage is not my responsibility. So I'm going to reiterate that once again and be sure we're on the same page. And I also wanted to document this also just in case but i figured i'd share it with you guys so what do you guys think about this leave some comments below down there in the chat man any of you guys you know who run computer shops or whatever have you ever seen anything like these two computers that i've had let me know down in the comments i'd appreciate that what is the worst custom built computer that you've ever seen i'm tim with tim's computer repair thanks for watching Hey, if you enjoyed this video, why don't you head right down below here, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. That would be really awesome. I have much more computer repair videos coming your way. There's also a bell you can click for to get notifications for my videos. I really appreciate everybody's support. And as usual, everyone, until next time, see you soon.